hi in this video you will learn how to create virtual machine on Microsoft Azure platform now in order to create virtual machine you first need a resource group so let's create a resource group I'll click on add here and enter the resource group name here so I'll create demo resource VM and I'll select my subscription here and then I'll select here the resource group location and East Asia is my nearest location so I'll select East Asia and then I'll click to create it now once we have resource group we can add as many as resources we want in this group so here resource is virtual machine I'll click add and I'll search here virtual machine now I have option here Windows Server or Ubuntu Server and lots of other operating systems so I'll select here Windows Server 2016 data center as my operating system on virtual machine and there are two deployment models which Azure support first is classic and the latest is resource manager I'll click on create button here now there are four steps I need to go through to provide the configuration and passwords and settings so first I need to provide your virtual machine name so I'll type here demo VM1 I can select my VM disk type here so there is SSD and HDD SSD is a solid state drive here I'll type my username I'll keep it same and some password so let me type password here on notepad demo 234 something like that and I'll copy it and I'll use it here okay so I need a little longer password I'll copy it again and I'll paste it so it is okay now I'll select here subscription and resource groups now I can select my existing resource group that was demo resource VM right so this VM will be created under that resource group and location to East Asia and now if I have Windows Server license already I can click on yes here because it saves lots of money and let's I'll select here no and I'll click on ok now I am on step 2 and here I'll select my virtual machine size so you know as you have your operating system and its hardware configuration so this is size and you may call it a virtual machine system or hardware configuration so I'll click on view all options so let me select my virtual machine which will have 3.5 GB of RAM 4 data disk and 7 GB local SSD and premium disk support and load balancing this will cost me 5556 rupees almost per month right so I'll select it and click on select button here now I need to select now its network extension and other configuration for the machine so you see here network name is automatically being added you see here new is marked because it is adding in case you want to change its name virtual network name you can just click here and you can rename it here or click on create new because it is already creating a new one for you automatically so I'll leave it default you see here subnet it is also default and public IP address is being added automatically network security group and I leave it other settings default you see here a uh, storage account for the diagnostics I'll just click on ok here now you will see here the summary of your all selection 
so this is final screen you can see here the pricing for our pricing and my selection so let's click here to create it now you see here the deployment is being submitted and it is running now so after a couple of minutes you will see your virtual machine in the resource group that we created that is demo resource vm you still see the deployment is running let's go on azure.com and check other virtual machine pricing here maybe you want to know it i'll click on pricing here and then i can add virtual machine here so i'll click it here on virtual machine and then there are lots of virtual machine options here and pricing options like pay as you go one year reserve and three year reserve and in here you can see the uh, all virtual machines that is available on microsoft azure platform so see here the bc machines a0 machines av2 standard machines and lots of other options you can also see here its pricing and the ram and the storage it offers so you can check here before you creating your virtual machine so that you have idea how much it will cost you deployment is still running now let me refresh here and you can see the virtual machine here I'll click on this and you can see the message creating now you can see notification here deployment succeed and we are in virtual machine page and to connect the virtual machine remote desktop I'll click on connect here and you can see your RDP is downloaded here I'll click here and now I'll click on connect option and I'll select my username here which we given demo VM1 I'll click that here and after that I'll select my password here and I'll enter it here then I'll click on ok to connect it and you can see the virtual machine is loading for the first time it may take few minutes and here you go you are on your virtual machine so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned that how to create virtual machine on microsoft azure platform thank you so much for watching